Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a chest radiograph of a person with shortness of breath. Do you see the reason? Do you see the explanation for it? Okay, you look through the lungs, they look pretty clear. A little hyperinflated, maybe a little mild interstitial change. Mediastinal silhouette looks okay, except for up here. Looks a little shadowy, a little high attenuation mass-like object here, displacing the trachea to the right. What is that likely to be? It's likely to be the thyroid. Thyroid enlargement. Goiter, benign thyroid enlargement, displacing the trachea. And the trachea is still fairly patent. It's not that narrowed. And that probably speaks of the uh, longevity of this process. It didn't happen overnight. And so there was a some ability of the trachea to accommodate to this displacing uh, effect. So you can see not only the displacement of the trachea, but I want you to see the shadow. You see there's a shadow here, right here. So you can tell there's a mass here, not just by the displacement, but by the overall shadow appearance there. Also, normally on a lateral chest radiograph in the retromanubrial or retrosternal space, you'd have more lucency. And so this is part of that thyroid enlargement that's hanging down in the retrosternal region. Okay? And I don't know, it may even be pressing on this superior aspect of the aortic arch. And I wouldn't be surprised based on its relationship on both the frontal view and the lateral view. Here's the, the margin of the aortic arch. The superior margin is here. And here you see this mass there. So that looks like sort of a common goiter, except it's a little bit extreme in terms of the amount of tracheal displacement we see here.